In this video, we'll be discussing Zoom etiquette. Privacy first. You should only distribute your Zoom link to those you want in the meeting. Use video whenever possible. Video should be utilized as part of the meeting unless it makes presenting impossible due to poor internet connections. A significant portion of communication is nonverbal, and your message will come across more accurately than if you were only presenting with your voice. Staging the video. Make sure your background is business appropriate, and the lighting helps illuminate your face at an angle that doesn't create shadows. Set yourself up to look directly into the camera as much as possible. Personal grooming. Check your appearance before joining a meeting. If you need to comb your hair, apply lotion, makeup, or fix your attire, you should do so prior to turning on your camera. Do not eat or drink. It could be off-putting for people to see or hear you eating or drinking. The one exception is water or coffee, especially if you have a packed schedule. However, try to be quiet if you choose to take a sip of your beverage. This is a good time to mute your mic. Speaking of muting your mic, it's always best to mute your microphone when you're not actively speaking. Unexpected noises from a neighbor, child, or pet can cause those speaking to lose their train of thought. Be an active listener. A significant part of video conferencing etiquette is making sure you are listening and understanding what's being said. It's not unusual to have a connection lag here and there, and so it's not rude to ask for clarification, but it can be rude if you're not paying attention. No distractions. Avoid distracting yourself or other meeting attendees with notifications from your computer or other devices. Many computers and phones come with a do not disturb setting or other ways to silence notifications and these can be very helpful. Dress the part. You may be working remotely, but it's still worth it to make an effort to dress the part for a business meeting. Dressing nicely for work can help you feel professional and confident, and it also shows those you're meeting with that you care about the meeting and yourself. The Lead Center at Outreach offers a free employment service to the community that provides advice, resume writing, and job search to our participants. We hope these tips have been helpful for you. We'll see you next time with more information on how to succeed in the job market.